Hi there, this is Catherine from Dance Studio Pro. In this video, I will go over the features included in our newest product, Dance Studio Pro Premiere. Dance Studio Pro Premiere gives you access to all the features you know and love with our current version of Dance Studio Pro and adds three top-notch, highly requested features, two-way studio chat, a robust Zapier integration, and individualized user permission. Let's jump in. Communicating with your dance family has never been easier. With our exclusive studio chat, you can now have two-way communication between a specific parent, groups, teachers, classes, seasons, and your users. Parents and adult users can now download the new DSP user app from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Once they have downloaded the app, they can receive push notifications about chat. If the parent or adult user does not download the app, the chat feed will simply show in the account portal. The people you communicate with will receive an email notification when a new chat is available and ready to view. When you receive a chat message, the person who sent the chat will be notified via email if the message sits unread. To get started, navigate to More, Settings, and Chat Settings. Here you will need to enable chat as all Premiere accounts will have this feature disabled initially. Once this is enabled, you'll save your changes and click Launch Chat or Magic Studio Chat. On the left, you can see all of your past and active chat threads. You can click here to create a new chat. In the search field, enter a parent's name on its own to chat directly with an individual parent. You may also use a hashtag and then a certain channel like teachers to communicate via studio chat. Another option is at season colon or at group colon or at class colon to chat with larger sets of your dance families. Then click start chat. Here you can add emojis, images, and files to your chat thread. Please keep in mind, anyone in the chat thread can read all messages within that thread. Be sure to include any studio users that you want to have access to the thread, such as admins and studio owners. DSP can now connect with thousands of other apps with a new Zapier integration. Zapier is a tool that helps you automate repetitive tasks between two or more apps with no coding necessary. When an event happens in one app, Zapier can tell the other app to perform or do a particular action. There are three major components to using Zapier. Your trigger app, in this case DSP, Zapier, the middleware software, and your action app. A full list of action apps can be found on Zapier's website. Our integration supports classes, parents, leads, and student data being sent to thousands of other action apps. This is a wonderful way to connect Dance Studio Pro to your email automation software, your CRM software, send yourself an email or Slack with data you need, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. To get started with Zapier, you'll first need to create a Zapier account by going to zapier.com. Once this is completed, you will navigate to More, Settings, Connections, and scroll down to find Zapier. Here you can connect DSP to Zapier. You can build out Zaps in Zapier. We have uploaded many templates for you to follow within our DSP Help Desk. Zaps can be done in two ways, manually and automatically. For manual Zaps, you can select the data you wish to send to Zapier, such as students or classes, select class actions, send selected classes to, and then select Zapier. Doing this sends your data from DSP to your Action app, such as Keep or Google Sheets. For more information or support with Zapier, please visit zapier.com.
Dance Studio Pro Premiere allows all admins to individualize permissions by user. You'll no longer need to group all of your users into four categories. You can select what you want each user to have access to. Want one of your normal users to be able to post tuition? You can do that. Do you want a super user to have access to specific reports? No problem. Within DSP, you'll go to More, Settings, and Users. Here you can do two things. Edit your general rules for your users and edit permissions by user. To edit your general rules, go to the User Role Settings. Here you can edit what all super and normal users can and cannot do. For a complete list of user permissions, please visit the Dance Studio Pro Help Desk. To edit roles within each user, select the user you want to edit. Within Actions, under User Details, you can see here the user has the default Normal User Settings. By checking the specific access points you want the user to have, it unselects the normal user box and allows the user to have access to whatever you specify. Don't forget to save changes! We hope you enjoy exploring all of the new features Dance Studio Pro Premiere has to offer. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at DSP Support.